Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a little puzzle that we meet sometimes. You get a dark area and sort of a light bit. And if you look at the histogram here, which is going from dark to light here, you get a hole in the middle. So this bit down here, the darks are the buildings, and this bit here are the, is the sky. So nothing's overexposed, but if I try to do something like, well, let's try and make this brighter here. Say I use curves. And I kind of pull this up here and you know the sky is, is going too white here whilst I'm getting something here. You can see the histogram here, this is kind of being sort of squished off in here. And if you go and look into areas like this, when this comes up, you know, you're starting to do this, you're, you're burning out those areas around here and you're losing detail in there because this is just, you know, although it's not burned, it's just squished right up. So what you want to do is separate out this somehow. So let's delete that for the moment. And what I'm going to do is to do a control J to duplicate it. So I've got another layer here. So I'm going to separate out the light and the dark. And a very simple way to do this is to use the blend ranges, which is a little cogwheel here. So I click on that. And I'm going to turn off the bottom layer. So I'm only using the top one so you can see where things are going transparent. I'm going to zoom right into that area again so we can see what's happening. If a, Because I'm working on a pixel layer, I use the left-hand graph here. If I pull down the light area of this, because again, this, this is dark to light, but here this is transparency, where if you, the, the, it's the bottom, it's wholly transparent. And if I pull this down here, then you can see where the checkerboard is, that this is transparent. But I can pull this back up again here because I want to, don't want to lose the detail in this. If I pull this back up here, so I'm bringing this back here. And I want to, if I go up you know, far enough here, I start to bring back stuff. It's right at the very lightest part here. You can even start to bring this back here. But if you put it too far like that, so you get a crunchy edge to this. You want to have a, a slope off there. That looks like it should be OK. Let's sort of open up a bit. At control zero. So in other words, the top layer now, with this, I have made the lighter areas transparent, which means I can then lighten up this without having to worry about the uh, adverse effects. So I simply again go to curves now with this one. And if I turn this up, now I'm see I'm lightening this area here without affecting the area below. If I turn on the bottom of the layer, I can now see this. And again, it's often good to zoom into the tricky areas. And look, see, it's gone a bit funny there, isn't it? It means you can't go too far with things. But what I can do is to bring this one down a bit here, so I'm not applying this curve to those areas around the edges here. So that's recovered this. Yes, there's a bit of purple here because there's a chromatic aberration around it. I could address that separately, but I'm just doing the the thing here where I am bringing some light into the buildings here. So I say turn that off and on. See, I've, I've light, lit up the buildings, but I've kept the sky, not doing anything to that. So there you go. Very simple uh, little puzzle and a simple solution to it. That's it. And thank you very much for watching.